Hey. Hello. It's the Warriors Light Crew. We're going to Gen Con 2017 to see what it's all about, man. Yep. What's going on, guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. This is the Warriors of Light crew. We're headed down to Indianapolis, Indiana for Gen Con 2017. It's going to be an awesome time. There's yep. going to be like a ton of games there. There's going to be role-playing games, board games, all sorts of stuff going on. We're looking to have a great time. We're going to be there all four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We've got events lined up that we're going to be attending. And we're just going to go figure out what's there because we none of us have ever been there before. So it's going to be a great time. And we're going to be recording things all along the way. Oh, hold on. There we go. What are we going to do for like five hours? I'm just tagging along. Oh, them guys. She's our entertainment for five hours. Yeah. All right, step it up. <laughs> 99 bottles of pop on the wall. 99 bottles. <laughs> so we're going to figure out what's going on there. And we're going to be reporting back to you through video feeds at least once a day to update you on all the cool stuff that's there. What's up, guys? All right, so we arrived. We got here to the hotel uh, really, really late last night, and um, it is Thursday. It is day one of Gen Con, and of course, we wanted to get up super early to get to the will call booth to get our tickets, but that didn't really happen because, you know, there's, like, sleep and stuff. But yeah, so this is our hotel room. It's kind of dirty right now, but um, I'm going to go in here because I'm trying to get Clayton because the other two are already down at breakfast, and we're lagging behind, so... Hey. What? Hey. What? We gonna go get breakfast? What? Uh, come on, let's go. What's taking so long? You're filming this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's done. He's done. He's done. I see a billboard and some cars. Oh, look, there's other people down there waiting to go to Gen Con. Ha ha! They're going to Gen Con! Yay, you made it! Have a weird our camera. <laughs> Hi! I know. Hey, don't show your dirty underwear. Sony. Nice accessory. She's so serious. <laughs> Because he created Mutiny Pot, and that's Kyle's favorite thing right now. It's 
role-playing game. It's fun, so check it out. We had fun meeting him, and he, we bought a book and he signed it. So we're in the cool kids club now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, before TV, I love him in Star Trek. But it's a dialect. Exterminate, exterminate. hotel now and play some board games. Hey, Me and Chrissy Kyle. just had way too much fun with some lip sync battle. We didn't get it on film because somebody took the camera with them. I saw them. Probably getting some food, right? I was hungry. You hungry? Came for my tummy for food foods. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, just to sum it up, it's been a great day one. We had a ton of fun. Probably spent too much money, but you know, I just got a really bad whiff of like poop or something right there. Like that happens. <laughs> okay, to Gen Con. We're running a little late. We played some games and everything last night. Made us uh, just a little sleepy. So we uh, slept in a little farther than we should have. And uh, now we're trying to rush to get to one of our uh, scheduled games. So, yeah, day two. Hoping it making it happen. Day two. Day two. These intersections, man. They got the little red hands up. They like, go walk, go walk, fuck. You're chilling, my boy. Just chilling. Our game awaits within. Within our game awaits. The entire city has been infested, Captain. The entire city. They're everywhere. Well, yeah. right They've infested everything. Seriously though, nerds are in every hotel, they're in every city block, every parking garage, every restaurant, everywhere. It's a good thing I brought my spray. I forgot my spray. We're gonna be playing, let me see, Deadly Euphemism. Peacekeeping Among the Stars. I have no idea what it's about. Kyle signed us up. I think it's probably like futuristic, maybe. Space travel might be involved. <laughs> but we're gonna check that out now. Um, we just got done doing the, what was it called again? It was called Deadly Euphemism. And it was from a rule system that somebody had made up on their own. So that was, it's a homebrew. And they totally made up the system so we learned the rules and everything. And uh, it was fun. We, yep. It was a cool rule it was system. I had a neat combat dice system. Yeah. So uh, we got to have our first role playing experience at Gen Con, so that was cool. Um, but I think for the rest of the day, the three of us are probably going to go check out some video games. We're going to go have fun. Yes. We're going to go probably check out some more board games. Yeah. Probably spend too much money. And right now we're going to eat food because yum, we're starving. Everybody's got to do that. So. Yeah. stuff in there. Look at this. There's like a little entrance and there's just gates. And now we're stuck. Ain't no Gen Con signs. There never was nothing in here. There was. I tried to tell y'all. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep walking around because Jenny's not giving up. Jenny's not giving up! I was... How about we're both right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just asked somebody and they said, hey, 
I don't know if you can get in from the outside, but there is stuff in there. So that means Jenny was right that there's stuff in there. There's stuff in there, but I was just wrong about how to get in there. Apparently you gotta go through some tunnel system from the convention center in. There's a secret tunnel through the linen closet underneath the, the, bald, the bald hotel. And you gotta ask, there's a guy in the men's bathroom, but you gotta be a woman. You gotta go in there and tell him, I need to get through your secret tunnel. Secret if he takes you the tunnel. right way, he'll take you down through his secret <laughs> tunnel and you'll end pop. You'll be up in the stadium. Same way the players do it every year. Secret tunnel. Oh, it's an open gate. The gate is open. Oh, here we go. We're going in. I guess you all good for the day. <laughs> I told I told him tell them the badge ain't no good for today. Uh oh. <laughs> You're trying to get Christina kicked out? Oh, yeah. oh there's more stuff. Holy crap. There's more stuff. Look, there's more people playing games. This is nice. This is crazy. Look at all these people playing games down there. Stuff is all over this place. There's more. There's so much more. Kind of cute trap on the car. What'd you just say? This was much better in the stadium? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the air conditioning. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep up. I Keep up. I swear, like, the nerds have just infested the whole city. They're everywhere. The entire football stadium of just people playing games. It's crazy. I've said this before, but Christina is my witness. Okay, the con's super busy, and I have to point Very this busy. out. Yeah, I have to point this out because this is amazing because this never happens. We're at con. It's crazy. It's hectic. It's busy. Everybody's just running everywhere, buying up all their crazy stuff. Enough. And so an amazing thing happens when you enter the female bathroom. <laughs> okay. Yes. It's, it's the oasis. <laughs> it's the oasis of the con. Yeah. If you need a moment of peace and quiet from the hustle and bustle of the con, you True. go to the woman's bathroom. Okay. True. You just run there. You take your time. It's super quiet. I swear there's like some tranquility music playing it's in the background. In there. And you yeah. just chill. There's always an open stall. There's like 20 open stalls at all times. And it's always clean. And it's, it's always, always clean. clean. It's always clean. Now, you go into the male bathroom. Come here, Clayton. Clayton. From what I've been told anyway, I've never actually been in there. So, you go into the male bathroom at Con. And you poop what yourself because you can't. <laughs> they know. They know where to be. Seriously though, what happens when you walk to the male bathroom? Is there a line? It looks more like Klingons have been invited to a pork feast. Similar, similar to the like, it looks like the Clone Wars, like that. You know. I've been to so many conventions, they all kind of run together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, most yeah. fun is meeting all my old friends, you know, people I only see at conventions. Yeah. Well, congratulations to them in 42 years. That's oh, awesome. thank you. Yeah. 42nd Gen Con, that's fun. No. 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 They should put you, like, on a panel or something. People oh, can ask should. you questions, yeah. like, you know, the history I that you have your eyes. remember the answers anyway. <laughs> well, you enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Too. Thank you. Nice to meet you. He's been to Gen Con for, this is his 42nd year at Gen Con. And we met him in the history part of all places, of course. Nice guy. He's a nice Easiest guy. <laughs> Secret tunnel. We found the secret tunnel back to the... Hey, what's in here? Uh, you've watched Star Trek, right? Yeah. Yes. Right, so it takes a crew to fly a ship, not one person. Yeah. 
right? Well, that's what this game is like. You have a helmsman, a weapons officer, engineering, science, and communications. Yeah. And then somebody's captain. Library. In a secret tunnel. There is a secret tunnel. Yep. And this is it. It leads from the convention center all the way to the Lucas Stadium where the Colts play. Yep. And we didn't know about the secret tunnel at first, which is why we were outside the yep. gates looking like idiots trying to get in. Yeah, Gen Con is all about just walking around and the exploring secrets. stuff the and the cool little secrets that you just find in the walls of the secret tunnel. <laughs> That's awesome. probably like our favorite thing so far. It's been, it's been my favorite. I would say just like adventuring and discovering Gen Con is probably our favorite exactly. thing so far. Yep. That's what it's all about. And the women's bathrooms. <laughs> and we've been strutting the, the Warriors. Oh, of light. yeah. Warriors, Warriors of Light today on Friday. Right. It's been a fun day. But right now we're going to go meet up with uh, Kyle. Kyle. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. This is arcade games. Just chilling in the secret tunnel. There's just all sorts of stuff. This literally goes under the ground. Like it, I guess so. It goes from like the convention center, like under the ground, into that big stadium, and it goes from the stadium over catwalks and then into a hotel. Like yeah. it's just massive. You don't ever have to go outside. Well, I think this is officially where the end of the secret tunnel is. Yep. I, it's not so much a secret anymore. We're out in the city again. Oh, at the time, the time would be 7.06. Wearing a dress? Please, don't cross your eyes. Cross your ankles. Just for information. Oh, you see, you saw a little extra something, something at Gen Con? I saw something I really did want You know what? That was free. <laughs> yeah, so we met back up with Kyle, and he lost his keys. So, we're going to be stuck here for 24 hours, or more, or for the rest of eternity, until we find the keys to be able to leave. And also, on top of that, we have to pay which our parking garage closes in less than two hours. So, we're hoping to find the keys before we yeah. get messed over. So we're trying to find a place where maybe we can find out if they were turned in, whatever. So we're going to find the keys first and then we'll get an update from Kyle on his daily adventures. The last time we left you guys, we had, I said we lost the keys and that was a true story. Um, so yeah, we went all over the place. We went to um, like three lost and founds. Uh, we went to, I think I called like a restaurant we went to um, just to double check. Couldn't find them anywhere. We literally were like walking around all over the place trying to find them. Um, and we thought maybe they fell out of Kyle's pocket. And anyway, so we just kind of went back to the car as a last ditch effort. Maybe like, maybe we left them there. Um, and sure enough, Kyle goes back up the seven flights of stairs to go back up, up to the park. He gradually left the car and peeks in the window and there's the keys. He's still a little bit stressed about the situation, but he found the keys in the car. The door was not locked actually on the driver's side door. And then, and then he tries to turn on and the battery's dead. But have no fear, the parking garage guy had a jumper box. Went all the way back up the seven floors with Kyle, jumped the car for us, and end of story. We have the keys, we have the car, and here we are eating dinner. And here we are eating dinner. I have an awesome tiramisu from this like place that got a 4.6. We're trying it out. And here we are eating dinner. After a long, very long day at Gen Con. <laughs> But I did say to Kylo, I did say to good. We played a game of Open Legend. It was ran by um, one of the writers who has been working on some of the setting content for the Open Legend brand. Uh, she did a really good job. She uh, created pre-generated characters and stuff like that, and they were all pretty interesting in their own designs. And I got to play uh, a lone wolf gunslinger, so that was a lot of fun. And it was kind of neat, too, because I ended up getting the, uh, the final hit on the, the big bad guy in the scenario and stuff, so that was just... Sheer luck, but anyway, it was a lot of fun. Um, the people that I was with, they were all in a group. They were all together, so I was like the one man out. And there was, uh, I think there were eight of us at the table. So there were seven of them, one of me, and they were a rowdy bunch. But uh, they were really nice, and we had a lot of fun. So um, yeah, it was a good game. We'll probably uh, leave it here for Friday night. 
Gen Con 2017, and uh, we'll come back for Saturday. Boop. Hey y'all! Welcome to Saturday, Gen Con 2017. I got my Starbucks coffee. It was free. Yeah, so yesterday when we lost our keys, we went down to the JW Marriott Hotel in Indianapolis and we asked the lady about um, our car keys that we lost. And she was super nice. Uh, she didn't give us a voucher for a coffee, a free coffee at the Starbucks in the hotel, which was really nice of her. So thank you. I'm enjoying my caramel macchiato. Right now though, Kyle is in the J room playing a game for an hour. That's why. I Hence, I went to go get the coffee. Um, let's see if we can take a peek on what he's doing. Yeah, so if I didn't mention it before, today is actually cosplay day. You can definitely tell there's a huge increase of people um, with their outfits on on Saturday. So today is definitely cosplay day. And uh, just in case you're wanting some extra tidbits, Going to Gen Con is super fun just for meeting new people. Even like in the Starbucks line, I was in the line for like 20, 30 minutes, meeting a couple people there. Um, a shout out to Chance, he, I talked to him for a while. He's like a huge fan of True Dungeon, which is um, a like live action role playing dungeon experience that you get to go on for like two hours. Um, so that's something that could be kind of fun. Probably not gonna fit it in this year, but hopefully next year. Um, so just something cool, something else to do while you're at the con. But yeah, some of the outfits are nuts. I'm gonna really try to get some good video of them too for you. playing session, A Star Once Fallen. We played it, it's a four hour session. It was the open legend system and a bunch of us died like at the end. Yeah. Pretty, no, not heroically or anything, we just fell, <laughs> fell and died. Three character deaths, one after another, right in a row. It was pretty great. Everybody was, everybody was kind of hooting and hollering at that point in time. But yeah, the adventure was fun, you know. It's basically like a, a go get this magic powerful thing and bring it back, you know, kind of a, a quest we were on. So uh -huh. we had a lot of people at the table. We had nine people, including the uh, the game master, who his name is uh, Stephen Rhodes. He uh, He's one of the writers, actually, for Open Legend. Um, so it was pretty cool, you know, getting to meet him and stuff as well. Yep, it was a good time. So um, right now we're just exploring a little bit more this evening, Saturday at Gen Con, and uh, I'll meet back up with our other comrades later. But yeah, it's been fun so far, right? Oh yeah. Hey y'all, find a place park in the garage. We're all reserved, man. People, people in their privileged reserve spots. No reserve spot. Look at this guy, him, him and his reserve. I've been reserved, fool. No. That ain't, that's, that's a good spot right there. Right there, or right there. Yeah, but I gotta, see, I gotta try to back in. Dude, I didn't even know you were filming. Hey! Uh, for the last Woo, 20 minutes. Last day, Gen Con, Last 2017. Day. <laughs> Today's kind of our chill day. Kyle gets to go do a game with Brian. What's his last name? Brian. <laughs> I'm on camera. I can't think. <laughs> his name is Brian Feister. Yeah, so he's the he's the creator of Open Legend, which is a really good rule system. So Kyle's going to go check out his game today, and we're going to go shopping. Whoop, whoop. Shopping. Uh. Doors have been opened. Yeah, I just wanted to say too, I did a, I did a little social experiment and they do check your bags, so <laughs> um, make sure you bring your bags. I had my badge and I thought, you know what, Sunday I'm gonna leave it off just to see if I get stopped and asked. And yeah, some guy was doing a really good job at the door, so what we're going to do is we're going to secure our Starfinder pins. All right, these right here. We only got one on Thursday in the last two days. They've been given away already. So we're gonna go there right now, right as the doors open, and go secure a couple pins. Okay, let me have one for Yep, we rushed in and secured. Got him. 
Secured at least day four Pathfinder, Starfinder pins. Sorry, how are you What's doing? What's up? <laughs> uh, he also gave me one for you guys. We each got one for Kyle Clayton. Yeah. So. Ooh, awesome. Bob Ross, The Art of Chill. I had to get this game because there was so much buzz about it. I don't know if Kyle's going to be mad at me, but I got it anyway. It says, celebrate the joy of painting in this game of strategy and serendipity. Earn chill points by painting landscape features like happy little trees and almighty mountains. Bob Ross Chill. All yours at Target, October 1st. <laughs> Early release for us Gen Con goers. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and go inside this room. I don't know if Clayton's playing, but Kyle had his game session, so we're just going to peek in on the room. around you got like yeah that doesn't stuff mean, yeah. thanks me. mom <laughs> thank you <laughs> cleaning rooms and I, I just got a peek in one and it kind of looked like it was like a 1920s like train car inside their room it like that's really cool like that's how that's how your room experience is like you just got into a train I'd and love you're to traveling. see the inside of one that'd be really cool like there was like a cute little lamp in there oh oh maybe not this one this one looks like a normal room <laughs> Maybe, no, maybe no. not. Maybe I was wrong. And maybe it's just that one room. I don't know. Good question. Yes. So somebody was telling me like that you guys have like old train cars here. Do you have those around? Or on no? The second floor. Oh, it's on the second floor. Yeah. Second floor. Hi. Like this is so all. These are people's rooms. <gasps> no. Yes. Sunday fun day. We found trains inside buildings. <laughs> yeah. Like Sunday tons. fun day. Wow, this is oh. neat. <laughs> Oh cool. cool! It is like it's just long and skinny. Yeah. yeah. And then for drying your stuff is over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. Can I take a peek oh. in the bathroom? <laughs> this is not stupid, but <laughs> oh, that's like all modern and stuff too, though. That's cool. That's so cool. And then they get you got the blind and stuff. Oh, this is so <laughs> neat. You like peek out. Hi. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for letting us peek. That's neat. Thank you. Love Thank you very much. Thanks. You have a good day. <laughs> you too. I was trying to just leave, but Christina asked if we could go inside one of the rooms and she let us in, so that's cool. And we got to go in one. That's so cool. That was fun. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> a citrus fruit. Orange. Yeah. 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 I have a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah. The same time. An adventure. Chosen and they are queuing them up in the sound system. <laughs> 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 you want a 2015 Gen Con t-shirt? 
Somebody's sucking so good, I've been standing in the city. I know what you mean, your troubles got these girls, got you losing control. You like a drug to me, you look like a good luck. I look a good luck every good night. Every night when the stars come out, every night when the stars come out. for Joseph and Ann Clapp. Okay. And by applause, who votes for John and Baby one more time. I'm not there yet. Okay, so Christina, let's, let's, let's get this real fast. Christ, Christina didn't want to have that other 2015 Gen Con shirt because... It was a 4X. It was a 4X that she won from doing rock, paper, scissors with somebody. So now look what she has. She got it exchanged from the lady. That's, it's a large, but look what it says. Volunteer. Oh, I don't know if it's back right now. Gen yeah. Con says volunteer 2014. <laughs> <laughs> now it's, we went back another year to 2014. But at least it's something I can wear. Yeah, if we can wear it at least, so that's yeah. good. <laughs> hey guys, we're wrapping up uh, Gen Con 2017 here. We're ready to get going, go home. Uh, we're just looking at the last little few monuments of the city. But how, how did we fare at Gen Con this year? Our first time. Well, it wasn't a fair as much as it was like a con. I mean, no, but we ended up seeing a lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, we didn't even see, I think, half of it, honestly. No. Um, there's so much going on here. Yeah. No, it was a great experience. You know, it's been a long weekend. We've been here, you know, in Indianapolis since Wednesday evening. So this is uh, midday Sunday, afternoon on Sunday. So, yeah, it's been um, a long time. We've been at the con pretty much every day. So it was a really good experience as far as trying to, uh, you know, see what other games are that are out there, how other people are running games. You know, get your feelers out there for what's going on in the broader world of role playing. Yeah. You know, because we're just kind of centralized to like Michigan and our, our group of uh, people. So, you know, this was a good experience to be able to network and reach out to other people. A good time experience in Gen Con. There's lots, lots of things for everybody role playing games, board games, computer games, the arcades. I mean, there is something for everybody here. I mean, you can go shopping, tons of places to go shopping, experience new things, and a lot of awesome experiences new people you can come in contact with. So we had an yeah. amazing time here at Gen Con 2017.